The Korean Zombie versus Yair Yair. That fight was amazing. It reminded fight fans that the sport has not ceased to evolve. New techniques are discovered all the time, and it's only a matter of who's gonna try it in a fight first. After 25 minutes of non-stop grind and pain, Yair El Pantera Rodriguez executed the zombie with brilliant timing. The whole thing was surreal for a few reasons. It was an incredible fight, Yair was losing it, and in the last two seconds, the first elbow of its kind in MMA history landed on a granite-chinned zombie, and he puts him out. A dramatic all-out war that will never be forgotten. The most legendary moment of them all. Derek Lewis versus Francis Ngannou. One of the most anticipated fights of the year for sure, and it had that don't blink factor. So when the fight started, even though it was terrible and nothing was happening, people still had hope, because anything could happen at any second. Only one punch was needed. But at some point, every fan who watched the fight realized, nothing's gonna happen. And that moment was extremely sad. So sad that the fight will be remembered as one of the worst. However, another legendary moment happened right after that to save the card. The heavyweight Daniel Cormier knocking out the most accomplished UFC heavyweight champion to date was truly incredible. It was a moment in time where there is a before and there is an after. It's hard to explain these moments because you have to be in them to truly understand. DC winning in the first round against Stipe was unexpected at the time, and when it happened, everyone forgot about the Nganu El Lewis fight. So up next, Tyron Woodley versus Wonderboy Thompson. People only remember the rematch, but that fight at UFC 205 was unbelievable. And a legendary moment happened in the fourth round. Woodley hit Thompson with an insane overhand right, and Thompson for a short moment looked like a zombie. His face told you everything you needed to know about Woodley's power. Then Thompson was smothered by Tyron, who almost finished him. Unbelievably. Steven got out of this position, but only to get caught in a nasty guillotine. That submission was locked in so tight. It was only a matter of time before the tap. But to the crowd's astonishment, Thompson never tapped, even if his neck looked like it was snapped in two.
To this day, I'm still confused by the fact that Thompson never went unconscious from that guillotine. I remember just waiting for the tap. After an infinity of time had passed, Thompson began punching Tyron to the body, and that's when you knew he was gonna get out. He finished the round on top, and managed to get the draw after five insanely entertaining rounds.